I can't go through this again with you, Emily. If trying to shift the blame to Meg is another attempt to clear Paul... No, it's I... not. I swear. I swear. I'm... I'm through protecting Paul. Right, Henry? I certainly hope so. And I... I'm starting to realize more and more that maybe... Maybe Paul did kill Dusty. I just don't think he did it alone. All right, so supposedly Meg Snyder helped him out. How? Why? She had at least as many reasons to, to hate Dusty as Paul did. It doesn't make her guilty of anything. Well, still, I think you need to take a long, hard look at her and ask yourself if she's not involved, then why, why does she have Dusty Donovan's bloodstained wallet hidden somewhere in her hotel room? Here's what I ask myself. Did Meg put them there, or did somebody else plant them there? Like maybe you, for instance. You know what, if you don't believe me, ask Henry. He, he, he was the one. It was his idea to sneak into Meg's place in the first place. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I, no. I told him about my suspicions that, that Meg might be involved with Dusty's disappearance, and Henry thought it would be a great idea to investigate. I'm sorry. You told me that you were in Meg's room to do some surveillance just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that I don't need to tell you that an independent investigation involving breaking and entering is not what we in the law enforcement business call kosher. No, oh, but how? We didn't take anything. And, and we found the wallet. And once we saw that it was covered in blood, we had to do something. So we confronted Meg. And, and like I told you, she went ballistic. You never should have confronted her before you spoke to me. Yeah, but it all happened so fast, we didn't have a choice. She caught us.